Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. This is the legendary campaign on the Confederate side of Ultimate General Civil War. And we are in the, the build-up to the Battle of Chancellorsville, but right now we are at First Franklin. First Franklin, historically, was such a minor battle, only about 100 casualties on each side, that they don't even really call the main Battle of Franklin Second Franklin. They just call it the Battle of Franklin. Uh, because this was barely a blip on the radar. It was just some minor uh, cavalry from uh, the Confederate side kind of scouting an area and kind of just probing in the area around Franklin. Never really amounted to much of anything. This is certainly going to be a much larger force, a larger battle. So what I've chosen to do, since I knew I would be uh, in a pretty uh, good situation, is I didn't reinforce any of my uh, brigades. I could have maxed a lot of them back out up to 2,500. Knew I wouldn't need it, and I'm trying to keep those numbers as low as possible because Chancellorsville is another multi-day battle where I have the advantage of being able to wait to reinforce my troops to counteract the effects of scaling. So he's going to have about 14,600 soldiers, and... I am sitting here, let's just kind of pause real quick, and I can show you. Uh, in terms of infantry, I've got 19,000. He's got only 11,000. He's got more guns than me, but I'm going to be moving a lot, so that's really not an issue. So you can see I, I left all of my units pretty much right where they were. I put a little bit into O'Hare's Ohio Outlaws just because they were down around 1,500. I wanted to get them up a little bit, but this is going to be more than enough men to get the job done. I'm basically just, uh, I have three hours to take this objective. I'm just going to go up this side, kind of hit him on the flank, and then kind of turn that whole flank right here, and then just march across this way. And I think that should do the trick, even with the uh, the number of men I have, because I'll basically be cutting out half of his force. So I should have a pretty, pretty decent numerical advantage. I'm going to lead the advance with the two one-star brigades, follow that up with my two-star units, and I'll kind of organize them as I go along here and shift them where I want them to be. Right now I'm just going to kind of get them all going in the right direction. And I also brought two units of cavalry, hoping I can maybe get behind his lines, grab his supplies, and uh, disrupt his artillery a little bit. So we'll see how it goes. It's also dark. It's only 5.30 in the morning. You can see the, the map's still pretty dark. But this should be a pretty easy victory that I can secure with relatively low cost. But again, I won't replace any of the men I lose in this battle because that will just reduce that number even more going into Chancellorsville. I would guess I should probably encounter some skirmishers here sooner rather than later. So we'll go ahead and start slowing things down. I'm guessing he's right here along the river. And the point here is just to march most of my force right up that side. And just keep trying to turn his flank. Oh, found his artillery. I'm guessing the artillery is probably right up here. Now, I'll be curious to see how aggressive he is or isn't here. I would guess he'll just sit in the fortifications, but on legendary mode, the AI has done some strange things being a little more aggressive. All right, I'm going to hold Harland right here until I get some of these other units going. I'm going to go ahead and run these guys to get them caught up. All right, there he is. All right, there's some skirmishers. Hey, let's nail them with the cavalry here. They're in the woods, but I still should be able to get them.
I'm gonna wipe those skirmishers out, hopefully before the effects of the flanking fire from the artillery. And then if I get pulled up here far enough, once I get infantry right here, I'll come over and hit that artillery with my cavalry. Skirmishers are just about toast. Alright, and they're gone. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here with the cavalry for just a minute. At least get them facing the right direction. Alright, so Harlan's kind of taking it right now, but that's why I went here with those two uh, one-star units, because I knew they would take the majority of the casualties. And then I can use my two-star units as the flanking force. Surprise Crook hasn't been knocked out yet. Interesting, I didn't expect to see that unit go first. Can actually move these guys up now since the, uh, let me pause for just a second. Since the, since that unit back here got driven off already, that frees me up to be able to advance here without worrying about my flank. Start moving everybody up here a little bit. And I'm going to rush in here and nail this artillery before they get driven off by Hampton's Legion. There we go. Get them driven out of there. Harlan just got driven off, but that's not a problem. Somebody had to take the casualties there. That battery's toast. Alright, Harlan, you don't need to go all the way back to Richmond. Gordon Granger, there's the general. Uh, we probably could nail him if I really want to. I don't know what else is over here. Oh, hey, 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 hey. That hurt. All right, let's go ahead and pull back the cavalry. He had a brigade hiding up there. Cavalry did their jobs. They took out a battery, took out a unit of skirmishers made the road a little easier for me lots of time left and I'm just gonna take this nice and slow you can see he's he's only got half the number of men I do I already took out a third of his guns I've lost about a thousand men he's lost it shows a thousand but it's more than that because of the units that I completely destroyed but again advancing uphill against a fortified position even odds I'll take it uh, even casualties But we'll see what more we can do here. Let me just get my guys into position. Yeah, we gotta deal with this artillery. going to be cautious with my cavalry moving forward just because I don't know what's going on over here. I got to hit that artillery though because he's, he's nailing me with canister right now. I 
I'm not gonna charge though. I think my volley should do the trick. Lots of time to spare and I'm almost to the objective already. Oh hey, look at that. He's probably got a brigade up here. But maybe not. Guess he doesn't. Left your supplies out to dry, dude. You got some supplies there. There's both of his batteries that are left. Honestly, I really have no reason to push this advance unless I just want to cause some more casualties. Which I guess might not be the worst thing in the world because it will reduce my own force as well, which means the scaling will be even more in my favorite Chancellorsville, which it sucks that I have to think that way, but that's what scaling does to you. Alright, we're going to go ahead and advance this a little further. Especially since we've got two one-star units that are going to take a lot of the casualties. There's the objective. Oh, this is a bad idea, dude. You're going to charge right into this brigade, outnumbered two to one. And I've got cav cavalry sitting right here to help out. Alright, pull the cavalry out. Get him out of there, get him out of there. I'm gonna deal with this battery. Ooh. So that was brutal for, for Wheeler, but he did what he had to do to take out the battery. Now we just got to deal with the last one. My two one-star units taking a beating, but taking one for the team. So as you can see, I'm taking a lot more casualties, but I think I'm going to inflict even more on him. Oh, he just got reinforcements. Look at that. Didn't see that coming. They're probably coming from up here, too. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my cavalry back. I'm going to put Heartland up here, because I don't know where those reinforcements are coming from. Oh, maybe they're over here. So let's go ahead and get a, a battle line drawn. Till I know where the reinforcements are coming from. Oh, 
Oh, they're up there. Okay. Just gonna cover the north from any ideas he gets with his cavalry up there. So I've lost about 3,000 men. That's about as far as I'm going to take this. We've got two brigades of infantry up here, along with my two units of cavalry. That should be enough to counter them. I think we'll go ahead and call it a day. I'll just go ahead and start speeding things up. We'll see what happens here. Just 22 minutes to go. So after this, we'll have just one more battle before the uh, Battle of Chancellorsville, which will be a big one, and I know I'll be heavily outnumbered there, which, again, would be historical because Lee was heavily outnumbered there. But we'll see where things stand here at the end of this one. I probably could have done even more here if I had jacked up all my units to full strength. I just, I'm thinking strategically, I'm thinking long term. And that's why I chose not to put those extra men into those units. Still, you can see uh, about 2,900 casualties plus 200 cavalry. Uh, did a, quite a number on him with that in mind. 5,000 supplies were captured. Grabbed a few more 1861s. Hopefully by the time Chancellorsville rolls around, I'll have enough to outfit a brigade with those. I uh, did lose two brigade commanders wounded. Hampton Legion, kind of the stars of the day. Only 111 losses, 900 kills. His artillery did, did quite a number on me. Uh, he took out 800 of my men. But for the most part, a good day for everybody. And we'll take a quick look at where things stand. We've got Rio Hill. And, oh yes, I remember this one. And uh, so this is the one I think that's got all kinds of cavalry in it. And so I get to take 10 brigades there. So I should be in, in good shape, numbers-wise, for that one. And again, I'm not going to put any extra men into my units because uh, I want to have the best advantage possible going in. To Chancellorsville. So let's look at that real quick. Because we want to see what his starting number is as of now. 69,000. Uh, now granted, I can only take two core in. Uh, so I've got 29,000 right now. That's certainly not going to do the trick. We'll have to put more into that. But there's probably a certain amount I can put into those numbers before the scaling begins. And we'll have to kind of figure out what the sweet spot is for that. So there you have it. Uh, that is the Battle of First Franklin. Everything went pretty well, I think. Uh, let me know your thoughts, your comments, your questions, your observations, your criticisms, any and all things. Use the comment section below. If you hit that thumbs up, that lets me know that you like this series and you want to see more. And we will see you again in a couple of days with Rio Hill. Thanks for watching.